Yeah, today I brought you something like, fancy again. What that? Uh, this is a head roach, and I want to show you today how they were mounted to get danced. So, head roach historically, you see here from this guy, he's an old, he was an auto maybe of around 1800, and he was portrayed with a head roach. You see this hair here. That's not his hair, it's a head roach, and that was worn by Native American people since I don't know when, you see here, 1800, it was worn for many tribes and especially it's a warrior thing. This is a Puri tribe, Oto, um, but they were also worn in the plains later on. And now in powwow times, these head roaches are widely worn uh, with a lot of categories, men's categories, grass dance, fancy, men's fancy, and men's traditional and yeah I want to show you how they were mounted so moment Oops. so then I need another one here Bzzzt. this is what you do. what you need is a little bit more than your wooden leg <laughs> pirate leg <laughs> Um, this is what comes out of it. This is the head roach itself, but it's not the only thing you need uh, to get it on your head. So what you also need is, uh, this is a, sp a spreader, it's called uh, yeah, a roach spreader. This here is made of a rawhide and beaded and there are many variations of this. Historically, from our Otto, he would have used something like this here. This is also a head roach that this is a cast one, but they uh, in, in earlier times they were made of bone from a buffalo shoulder blade and uh, some some I don't know bones from here. You see this these are also for the feathers. Normally this stringing here is not to hold the, the roach, but it's to hold the feather. The feather has a loop on the on the stem. You know, and then it's it was put through the the, the loop through uh, or the the leather was was put through the loop, and so the feather was fixed. This is how it's how it's worn historically, and historically these uh, roaches were much much smaller. They were just like this long, like this. They were not so long as we know it today. This um, development to have longer and longer roaches came up with the with the powwow. And um, it's it's um, the, the it's a fight for prices. So uh, the people were adding more fancier, bigger, whatever dresses simply to win exhibitions and to win these uh, these powwows to get the, the the prize money. This made a development in uh, after the the Second World War. And this is why we have so fancy and flashy outfits today. In historic times, mostly, especially in reservation period, everything was way smaller because of um, the, the lack of material, because of, it was very poor times. So the people had some difficulties to, uh, to get their stuff together to dance for dances. So. But now, what else I have uh, again? This is a pin here. For these pins, uh, sometimes the people use from an African porcupine the needles. They are longer, they are as, as long as this, to pin this down because um, they have to be very smooth. And some people I have heard of, they use also brushes, brush handles because they are lacquered and they're very smooth, so they, you can put them very good through your, your skull block, for example. Um, and you need a, a thong, a, a stringing material. So, what happens next? Moment. have to be a little bit careful because this is a hair roach. In today's world, a lot of people use um, Use a synthetic material because it's easier to get. This is from a from a porcupine. The the hair, not the needles, but the hair, the the upper out outer uh, 
layer of a porcupine. So yeah, what you now do, you see here is a hole inside and you see here is a hole inside. So what's now done is you put this a little bit up here. Try not to break the, the, the hairs inside. So what I do now is to put this inside that here. So that these two holes are on top of each other. So this is what you have here inside. Then in the old times and some people, some dancers still today use their scalp lock, make braid this. It's a very small blade braided uh, scalp lock then. And they put it through this hole, these two holes and then just fix everything with this pin. So uh, this is one way to do it, but I do this here in a more modern way. Uh, you have this little thong and moment take the uh, same same ending put this through the hole then you have uh, mm -hmm, it's you have a hole uh, the, the loop here you see here here you have the you have the loop and then you fix all together with um with this pin so the pin is through the loop you can check put it together so here you see it and now it can be worn on top of your head oops so like this and sometimes these were here just knotted and sometimes you have from a coat or so these little zippers you can put up and down some dancers use these in modern times it's a very very cool thing easy to to get on your head sometimes here they have also a stringing here that they put around their neck here that's uh it, it fixes the roach that it's not turning around because especially for these long roaches that are hanging in your back it's sometimes better for dancing so yeah you see here inside you see um this uh spreader inside so but this is difficult to transport so how to transport it it's with your pirate leg <laughs> moment so i just have to be careful with laying them around laying them away so i've got here another roach it's the same construction but this one is an old one from maybe 1920s 1930s 1940s maybe 1950s it's very old one it's very uh, much used very used and um, here's also no no deer hair it might it might be horse hair or from a brush or whatever because at that time they used everything they could find and it was not uh, uh, wishing uh, opportunity opportunities because early our uh, reservation period was a poor time and uh, today's power is the people are not so much uh, pressed because of difficult um, economic situation. So it's still difficult, but it was way, way worse uh, before. So then you have here, it's also something I want to show you. You have here, um, that's, um, how should I say it? It's, a, it's, it's a just a fabric cut off in, in strips and then braided and put together. You even see here some rubber bands. So these might be, have been put on the head with these rubber bands on the headband. It's, it's, it's in, as I said, there are a lot of fashion during uh, the uh, during the the last uh, century or um, during the time. So a lot of changes were made. So not everything. It's not handled today as it was handled. Uh, 100 or 150 years ago but the construction and the principles are sometimes the same but they all developed it's like it's, it's like fashion you know it sounds crazy with historic material and with uh, also um, uh, fog dress maybe I can can call it like this and 
the Native American uh, traditional attire has developed way more than especially Europe, uh, European traditional dresses. So this is really interesting and you have uh, fashion development every 10 years nearly with, within the powered circuit. So in the old times from our auto, these here would be uh, would have been um, deer hair. The, the base would have been deer hair and also s nearly the same made like this outer uh, layer. So this is how it's done, how it was done. So then what you need is a wooden stick. This is from a from a crafter shop, but some are even uh, carve them. Some uh, carve them more in a drop way. The cheaper way would be a, a cardboard roll. Could also be used, whatever. And then what you need is this here. This is when you round it or so and you put this uh, fabric strips around your medical department does us this and because this is a little bit stretchy so this is quite commonly used for mounting a roach so you see this little stick here you see the hole here yeah so I put the hole inside so everything is now hanging down what I now assured is that the stick is on uh, the left and uh, in the middle of this of this head roach in the, uh, you see here you have to be careful with your hairs with your with your um, porcupine hairs because you do transport it because when it's not mounted or mounted for dancing you will break the the hairs so it's a great thing to simply store it away in this in, in this kind so then you take this little ribbon So, and then you simply wrap this around. So, so, and then I have here a little needle that I put in to keep it there. So, um, and this is how you can throw it in your suitcase and it's no, no problem to transport your roach with any breakage or, and uh, because the hairs are fragile and it's difficult to get them from A to B. So, but this is no way here. So this is no problem. Um, yeah, so I made this video, I mean, for history of roaches and how your family and your tribe is handling these and the backstory of this um, um, adornment, call your, your tribe when you're a member of a tribe. It's not one just one um, story behind. Some say that these, uh, on this, these two feathers on the spreader are two warriors. There are many explanations for it. Please ask your tribe. I am not the person for doing this. Just I am a prop store here and a costume department, costume design department, where um, especially Native American items could be rented in Europe. This is very rare because I was so much pissed because uh, a lot of movies here were just uh, stereotypical and so on. So I tried to, it just, you just, you cannot just uh, be be angry about it. You have to try to change it. So that's why I started a prop hire and a costume hire, especially for these Native American items for movies and TV productions. So yeah, feel free to ask some questions if you have, when I can answer them to you, if not, Maybe there are a lot of other channels here, Native American channels, that are maybe better to ask for, especially about the stories and ask your elders. That's a, that's a way better thing than to ask me, especially for historical stories about it. This is a better way. And as I said, it's we have quite often um, people asking how it's, it's working or you give out these items and a norm normal costume designer have no idea, has no idea how to handle it. So this is why I made this video and I hope it was a little bit interesting.
stay here for other videos about historic uh, items and about uh, costume design and whatever. 